Hello, this is Bill Monahan. I'm a licensed general contractor, and today's project is to be, is going to be getting this chronically uh, slow draining sink uh, to work better. And uh, yesterday I uh, snaked out this drain from the roof, and I snaked it out uh, from below the sink, and I used uh, some Drano, and <clears throat> I got it working a little better. But I got no confidence in it. <laughs> it's been a chronic problem. So let me uh, show you what we're going to do today. Uh, down here below the sink, you can see there's the there's the sink and there's the P trap and there's the drain. And that's what it looks like. Um, you see what it is. We got a uh, the one and a half inch PVC P trap going to a piece of galvanized pipe and that goes into a cast iron T and uh, I don't know that that's really a sanitary T maybe it is but it's it's a real old one and it doesn't work very well and here we have a problem this is galvanized and this is cast iron you got two dissimilar metals Whenever you have two dissimilar metals, you're going to have electrolysis, which means that it's probably got a lot of sediment inside. I don't really know, but I'm guessing that there's some problems where, where the two dissimilar metals meet, uh, where there's lots of uh, mineral deposits and so forth in there, I would guess. And I'm thinking that this is the problem. What, I, what I'm planning to do is to put in um, an ABS sanitary tea. It's a much better sanitary tea. That's this piece right here. Uh, let me show you. I'll show you outside. Okay, this is how this goes. This piece right here is going to be the new sanitary tea. It's going to work a lot better than the old cast iron one because it's much smoother and uh, I'm suspecting that that cast iron one has a lot of deposits inside of it making it much narrower and um, it's going to have a little little piece of two inch ABS and then it's going to go to a reducer and that's going to reduce down to one and a half inch ABS and then the one and a half ABS S part is going to this end right here and in this end you put the one and a half inch PVC P trap parts into that so that's how we're going to do it this sanitary T this part is a, a street so that'll go right into that no hub coupler you saw in there and, and then we're just going to put a little a little piece in here so uh, so that's the plan, and that's, uh, I'm hoping that this is going to make that drain work a whole lot better. So this is pretty much what it's going to look like here. From the uh, sanitary T to the 2 inch ABS to the reducer to the uh, uh, reducer for the 1 and a half inch uh, PVC, and then to the one and a half PVC to the P trap, so that's the uh, that's the method right there. So now I just got to make it work, and I I'm going to leave this unglued for now, uh, just to make sure everything's fitting good and working, and then I'll I'll glue it together later. Okay, so we're going to start dismantling uh, this whole the setup that's in here. And hopefully when we're done, this drain is going to drain a lot better. And it will work a lot better over a period of time. So first thing you uh, do is take off the P-trap. So you need to take off the P-trap here. Okay. And the next thing, take 
take off this no hub coupler. So you got to work at getting these no hub couplers loose. It's never all that easy to reach in here to start with. Uh, but they will come loose. Okay, you see all the corrosion inside of that? Oh, see, see how the, the pipe is restricted a great deal? So I think that changing this out is really going to help. That sure so they can't hurt. That's all corroded too. This whole thing's pretty messed up. Okay, now I want to show you this too. All right, see how small that hole is? That's the uh, years and years and years of crud built up inside that cast iron pipe. So, well, we're just gonna. Do what we can do here. Get that cleaned out. Because that's why this isn't running very good. You can snake that all you want, but man, that's not a very big hole for water to go through. Okay, you can see the, uh, the pipe. And that hole right there is the hole I snaked through it yesterday coming down from the roof. And I did get this sink work on uh, pretty well but I had no confidence in it keeping working you can see the the problem here is just a little hole and there's a lot of corrosion so what I'm going to do I'm going to take a sawzall I'm going to cut it off about an inch and a half from the bottom down here and uh, get all the corrosion and gunk out of it I can and replace that with a two inch ABS coming up to a, a two inch ABS sanitary T and you know like I showed you before come coming to the one and a half inch PVC P trap so uh, just gonna have to get started uh, cutting this thing right now much wow that's all that's the hole I poked yesterday you see there's not much there and the farther down I go the less hole there is <laughs> yeah so yeah boy well let's have to keep working <laughs> Okay, so we're digging this stuff out of the pipe as best we can here. Don't put it in the can. Wow. Man, man, man. Wow. 
Well, the idea now is just take a chisel, hammer and a chisel and shop vac and you just keep working at it. Okay, so I've hammered and chiseled away at that uh, pipe and uh, I've shop backed it out and I'm going to snake it with a little bigger snake than I was using yesterday. Okay, so uh, I've really been working on this drain here. I've used a chisel, an old drywall saw, uh, my shop vac, and uh, right now I'm uh, snaking it. Okay. So now we've got the drain cleaned out, and uh, it was quite a task. <laughs> I used all kinds of tools, and I finally used a snake, a small snake, and I used a bigger snake. So this is a no-hub coupler. Just get it on there. Uh, okay. And this guy goes on. The, the cover to the no-hub coupling goes on. And put it down there out of the way as much as possible. Okay, now this is, now this is going to go up in here, and we're going to have to do a dry fit. All right, so we have the uh, new no hub coupling on right here. Uh, we've got nice fresh rubber now. Uh, this is the sanitary T right here. This is a new no hub coupling right here. So we're going to need a ABS coupling right here and then a piece of two inch ABS is the total is uh, three and a half inches okay I've got this uh, assembled somewhat here uh, let's see if you can see all this this is a no hub coupler down here. I don't have it tightened up all the way because I may need to turn this a little bit still. Now this this sanitary T you don't want it pointing straight at the the sink uh, you know where where the drain comes down from the sink. You want it coming down at, at an angle because we're gonna come up with the with the P trap and so you, you don't want this pointing straight at your uh, sink drain. You want it at an angle. Okay, so I got the no I got this glued together right here. I got that glued right there. I got that glued right there. Uh, so that's all I'm gonna glue for now. The rest of these pieces we got a a short piece of two inch ABS and then I have an adapter like that. I'm not gluing them right at the moment. I'll glue them later. This one, uh, they always want to put the little stickers right where you need to glue things. And I don't know what. Okay, so I've, I went ahead and dry fitted everything here. The, the P-trap and everything. It's not tightened up. I just want to dry fit it. And make sure all these parts are fine before I uh, glue them together with with the ABS glue. Okay, you put the ABS glue on both surfaces. Put it in there and twist it. That's good. So this goes in here like that. This goes down here like this. That one tied. Right. 
outside. Okay, let's see how we're doing here. Man. Well, I guess I'm ready to turn on the water. It's a pretty good little lick of work there. There we go. Okay, well, let's see what happens, I guess. Water's going right down the drain. Not a problem. And we got no leaks. Woo! Not a single leak. Oh, that drain's good, too. Okay, well, how do you like that? <laughs> There you go. So we cut out the the old blocked up cast iron pipe back there. Replace it with with ABS, two inch ABS, and uh, put in a new P trap, and it works great. So these are the old parts that uh, I pulled out of the uh, back of the sink. The main problem was the uh, the drain pipe going down in the sewer. You see, it was like this, and then when I got down closer to the, to the main sewer, it was even smaller. So I had to cut that out, and then uh, use a lot of uh, hand tools and chisels and hammers and saws and snakes, <laughs> and uh, got it all uh, cleaned out and replaced. Put it back together. There's no leaks, and it drains great. Okay, thank you very much. I hope this helps. Okay, check it out. It's full force. And believe me, it couldn't do that yesterday. None of it was going down yesterday. Woo! <laughs> there it goes. <laughs>